Let's go! Let's go! You tan? No. No? I'm just this color. I need tan a little bit. I actually am the same color as the shirt, and this is kind of yeah. like a pale shirt. This is good. I haven't tanned in like a week. It would take me three weeks. You know what your physique get... would look like, right? 20 pounds more muscle. Easy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. What's going on, guys? Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's the 28th of August today. Is it Saturday? It is what it is, yeah. Today's actually going to be a pretty interesting video. This is day two of Tyson's athlete video. We've been shooting for the past, like, pretty consistently for the past day. Been recording some behind the scenes of what's been going into the athlete video. Tyson has somewhat of a superpower, especially reality and it happens is that what it is? It's just, yeah i mean i can't do it tyson's very good at deadlifting we're going to be going to a gym today which is about half an hour up north closer to london they have a platform they have a deadlift bar and me and tyson are going to be doing a bit of a versus or just how much i can do until i can't do anymore and this until guy overtakes gives up on yeah you, until, until i die <laughs> we did the speech that took about like 15 minutes like, you knew exactly what you were saying yeah i knew exactly what i was saying zane's doing a great job we're gonna go to the gym later it's gonna be a good time there's two locations before the gym there's a place called the seven sisters cliffs it's like a really beautiful like white rock face valley viaduct or like something like that it's like a famous bridge that's like 20 minutes north as well we're gonna get the day started so we're just going to the cliffs first yeah cliffs bridge then gym oh gosh we got all the bags packed we got some ties and meals and stuff and some energy drinks jordy kindly just made me a jam and peanut butter bagel because i'm definitely behind on meals today we got zane the magician jordy sadly will not be joining us today she's not feeling too well a little bit under the weather we're gonna head off get the work done yeah. and uh thanks for the bagel by the way you're welcome and yeah. for packing your food and for packing everything I feel like I'm a mom of three now. I feel like my brain is so consumed with like what the athlete video is going to turn out like. I've not been like thinking about nutrition. Nutrition. Jordy has been keeping me on point. This is something that I've like imagined doing like my whole life and now having the opportunity to do it. Feels kind of surreal. Feels really cool. And having someone like Zane to take care of the video, knowing that it's just going to come out like absolute fire, is obviously sick as well. <laughs> Drone, bag, gym equipment, pre workout, bagel. Let's go. Hey, all the speech is done so we kind of know what is left to shoot so this is like the final day we have all the pieces and then Dane just has to like mash it all together and create movies There's a way to get down to the beach. We're gonna get some shots of Tyson like walking across the stones and then we're gonna try to find a sick peak that we might have to drive somewhere else to to get some shots of like Tyson at the like the edge of the peak. This whole video is gonna be quite emotional, quite low, slow pace, but also very deep and meaningful. Basically the whole video is a massive metaphor to how he feels and what he wants to achieve. We need to have sick locations like this to portray that message. Getting all the shots, now you can see Dan and Tyson in the background. But I feel like this is one of those moments where I was just like listening to the sound of the water and I feel like it's one of those times where you can get so caught up in like things that are happening in life and things that you're trying to do but you need to just like take a moment and breathe and realize what's happening and like it's freaking hard to do that especially when you're in the moment and you don't actually think okay stop think about where you are think about what you're doing and like actually take it in and remember this moment but i just had that moment and it was pretty cool i don't know i just wanted to like say that like it's important to do that and i did it and it felt pretty good you want to pet sheep hey bro <laughs> <laughs> We've been walking now for the past like 10 minutes across this farmland. I'm not sure we went the right way because there was nobody else. And like, if you look left and right, there's definitely people on some kind of trail that we didn't take. Journey to the edge of the world. We definitely came here because we thought it'd be sick for the athlete video. If Tyson got some shots, like petting some sheep, we thought it'd be like a step up from anything anyone has ever seen before. So it smells like a zoo out here, bro. Not step on sheep, shit and piss. <laughs> you know what, dude? We're doing it for the content, man. <laughs> She was giving you a dirty look, man. Dude, I'll run over a sheep any day. <laughs> but you see these shits behind you? Look at those, bro. We've lost them for sure. Yeah, they're gone, bro. Come on, guys! Let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen. They got us a quick change, so we let them in face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. Definitely made it. It's so far down. <laughs> That fell for longer than I would have liked. It's kind of crazy how like this is kind of the same place, but it feels completely different. One wrong move and this is the end. You mess up, you're gone. Because like, I'm almost scared to like stand too close to the edge because it's like chalk rock. It's not steady. If I was at like the peak of my bulk, I definitely wouldn't because I feel like the weight would just <laughs> carry me over. The rocks would crumble and I'd just be like, goodbye, Brandon. This is the coastal line just outside Brighton. You know, coming here and realizing that this is literally like a half an hour drive from where we live now. It's a pretty cool feeling to know that like this is on the doorstep. Kind of makes you appreciate life a little bit. 
but life breeds some like incredible opportunities and i just i want you guys to like put yourself out there dude because like this is like the most beautiful thing i've ever seen and i'm not doing this for a video i'm like actually thinking like this is just incredible don't take one thing for granted and you guys need to take pictures you guys need to make sure that you uh, are capturing every moment this stuff matters in the future when you think back on it so. We are at the next location, which is called Oos Valley Viaduct, and it's this working train station that was built in 1842. We thought it'd be a good spot for the video. It may not be. There's a lot of people here, so we're going to try and get no one in it. But as you can see, it's just like a really long, straight tunnel downwards. It looks like Vortex-esque. We're just waiting for the people that are just like further down there to leave that are behind Tyson, and then we can get the shot. All location shot. Everything we need to get isn't workout based. We have now got. We're going to have a quick pre-workout meal, try and absorb as much as I possibly can. I'm about to deadlift for the first time in about three, four, maybe like four and a half months. I actually don't remember the last time that I deadlifted with Tyson taking me through with his deadlift being just like planets above mine. So I've got to at least try and perform. I'm just gonna get stimmed out of my mind and hopefully I can lift something heavy. Are you ready? Are you deadlifting? Deadlifts are light, bro. Like I even lift so heavy. Like you wish you could lift as much as me. <laughs> she just blew mad smoke up your ass, bro. You <laughs> I lift, okay? What are you gonna deadlift? 375 kilograms. Oh, kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> we just pulled up to the gym. We're at King's Croydon, the one of the three different King's gyms. Cloudy day, typical to the UK, but we're actually waiting for another guest that's gonna be joining us for today's workout. Originally, it was gonna just be me and Tyson hitting deadlifts, but Nathaniel Messiah, another guy who is part of Team Hardbody and is a lot stronger than me while being a lot younger than me. So basically I'm here today to look really, really weak, but still get a good workout in and see what I can do with deadlifts, finish Tyson's athlete video and get a bunch of sick pictures for the brand as well. Don't mind me, bro. I'm just uh, warming myself up with your V10 engine here. <laughs> Took like 45 minutes to get here because uh, we're not gonna talk about what Brandon did on the highway, but we got here pretty quick, so. When you drive on the motorway, like even if you don't go fast, the engine is so hot, like from the outside, I can only imagine like how hot it is, like in the, like actually to touch, which is all right, because it's freezing outside, so we're literally using it as a radiator. King's Gym hoodie, going to King's Gym. Massive fan. What have we just pulled out? Like, why, is, it, why is this better? Is this the bar where you cheat and get like yeah, the This is the cheating one. <laughs> this bar plus some bumpers, 10, 20 kilos. Sumo as well, it makes it. Yeah, basically, this bar is a cheat code. 50%. So I'm going to PR today. You're going to PR. Okay, so it's one day you need to PR. It is today. Okay. It's today. Fast, but I just realized, though, it's my first time on the channel. We haven't actually met before. We haven't met. Like, we speak all the time. I feel like I've known this guy for so long and I've literally never met you, bro. You're bigger in person. I can't, no, not that you're not big on social media. You're bigger in person. Well, you're even bigger. Yeah, you know, you wonder why someone's like so strong. This guy must be massive in person it's because you are oh, okay. that's why i'm like 50 percent smaller right now let me get a pump and then this will come <laughs> okay, off and then okay. off. what are you saying this guy is basically just incredibly strong on what can i say <laughs> basically just a better version of me so <laughs> i've been able to do like a bumper and then the rest of the plates yeah. doesn't work no room for the bumper I, can't do that. I can confidently say i'll never be in a position in my entire life where i'm like you know what the bar is just not big enough for me it's not, bro that's his, that's his problem right we were talking about the tyson bar on the way Having like a custom bar made just for the amount of weight. The pre-workout, obviously, you guys have got options now. Use Brandon's code or you can or, use my code. But you know what, what on Brandon's video? So use Brandon's code. Hard body. <laughs> Mine's Nate35. Why have you got a number at the end? I don't I don't even know anymore because it's not even 35%. Someone sent me it was like 42% off the other day. It's 42, 37, 50 on holidays. I'm asking to change that. I just want Nate's now. We're just taking a pre-workout, then we're gonna start getting warmed up. Work our way up the plates. There will be a position where I'm like, you know what, boys? Cut, I think, cut me out. Cut me out. Cut I, think me out. I, I think I'm out. I've reached my limit. But I'm going to go as far as I can. New buckle feels, man. Looking shiny. I feel slimmer than last week as well. Last week was a bit. Now we've got four plates on the bar. This is when I kind of know how I'm feeling. I can usually tell from here. Tyson's different breed. If this moves like like absolutely nothing, I'm like, yes, yeah, good day. 
How did that feel, Brandon? That actually felt surprisingly nice. Did it? Yeah, I was actually quite happy with that. Yeah. It may have looked a bit slow. It's the way that you lifted it. The thing that I lack, that I know you guys have so much of, is explosiveness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you're right, your ability to just thrust and just be yeah, yeah. already up there. You're like a smooth lifter. Mine's a bit more of like a, if I'm gonna get there, it's gonna be from power yeah. and not from my ability to explode because I haven't got that yet. Let's go. Do you know what it is? They get so annoyed at me here because I make such a mess when I put chalk on. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Come on. Nice. Six plates on the bar. Now, my PR being 600 pounds, it's not actually far away from this. As in like, if I added like a 10 and a little bit, I think we'd be there. Usually, I may go up to five and a half plates first. But in the fashion of today, today is a very good day considering I haven't deadlifted in so long. I'll be happy with this, so let's go see. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you got, you got, you got, you got a PR in your yeah. If there was ever a day that that should have happened, today was the day. Today was the day. Listen. But in terms of my like supplement situation, today wasn't the day anything should have happened because we've been cruising now for 11 weeks. Currently, what should be my weakest, but I feel like the trick is if you stay natty, you're stronger. Exactly, bro. Listen, man. What if I jumped on, I'd actually get weaker. I'm chatting, I'm chatting rubbish. I'm chatting rubbish. I know you're chatting shit. Yeah. Oh, literally, bro. It's natty for life. Natty for life. Natty for life. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but we have a new deadlift PR of 200 and 80 kilograms. I'm not sure what the pounds is exactly. I haven't worked it out yet. We're gonna bump it up a little bit more because I'm really happy with how it looked on the footage. Just another five kilo. Obviously with that special 15, it's gonna look like seven plates, but it's gonna be 290. I'm gonna try our best. We got another plate on the bar. It's very deceiving. This is a 15 plate. All these are 20s. Well, if I give this a go, I'm not doing seven plates, but that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. It would look like <laughs> it. would look like it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Let's go! Yeah! Right now, Nathaniel is kindly setting the bar up for us. <laughs> Nathaniel's a hype man right now. Right there is the future of the weight I'm about to lift. Thanks, man. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Come on! So close, pressure. so close. That, next time, next time. It felt good though. Bro, I feel like, like what, what happened? <laughs> add a knees, add a knees, what happened? I'm like seeing stars right now. Bro. I started to feel my back a little bit and that's what kind of scared me. Maybe at the sacrifice of my ligaments in my back. Yeah. And maybe. But you took the executive decision. I felt and, it yeah. and I was like, you know what? No. Nah. I was being safe. You're being safe. Being safe. That's good, that's good. So what's on the bar now? We got seven plates on the bar. It's gonna move like nothing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> do some damage. <laughs> We've stripped my 15 off, which would have been 290. We put a 20 back on, and now another 20. And now there's 16 20 plates on the bar, because there's eight plates aside right now. And Tyson's getting ready. We're gonna see what he can do. In a state of bliss, limbo, in between this world and the next. Come on! Save it. That I really wanted that, so that's okay. Save that it. moved like I could have done another plate on it, and I know I probably could. <laughs> I'm gonna save it. 
uh, from my own time. So, Hell yeah, man. hope you guys like that. <laughs> what we all just witnessed, I just have no words for. No amount of weight on the bar at that body weight should ever move that fast. But this is hard body, and this is what we're about. So the first half of the workout is done. Now we're gonna get a pump, do a bit of chest, a bit of biceps, and finish off the second half of the workout. That is a wrap on everything. We took pictures, we hit PRs, we got a sick workout in, we deadlifted, we did everything. We met Nathaniel, Mr. Messiah for the first time. We're about to wrap up the day with a Nando's. I wasn't lying when I said it was literally two minutes away. Yeah, it's literally around the corner. And Tyson's never had a Nando's before, so he's about to lose his Nando's virginity. This is always an iconic moment in anyone's life. You think so? Yeah, it's a cheeky Nando's. Nando's. If you come to the UK, you gotta have Nando's. It's not like five-star restaurant. No, 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 no. It's, it's just right. good chicken. All right, guys, so it's a little bit later on in the night right now. Me, Tyson, and Zane just came out to have some pasta. Long day of shooting. Hadn't, didn't really eat much. Should have eaten a lot more than we did. Should have prepared a lot more of the meals. But we got so much shot, so many cool locations. So we thought it'd be nice to come out to like Brighton Pier. It's a Saturday night in Brighton, and I feel like Saturday night is the same as like so many other nights. There's so much life, so much joy. There was people down there, like like on like the sort of pier area, listening to music, dancing, having like the time of their lives, and it was like so cool to see. It gives like such an endorphin release, like seeing other people like have such a good time. And I feel like that's one of the greatest things about Brighton as well. And like moving here is like such a positive part of my life. It's just like such a happy place. Like everyone's having such a good time, and it's nice. And you know, shooting this video and like spending time with Tyson, meeting him for the first time, and like seeing Zane. It's just a really cool time right now and we're enjoying it. It doesn't even feel like work though because we've just done so much and I haven't ever been in Europe period so like anything that we're doing is just kind of like really fun to me. It's a really really good time so. Will the video be fire? Bro. No I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we are finally back at home. Honestly I've never been so tired. The deadlift and just like the long day like driving to London, driving back, getting all the content, getting all the things that we got, taking all the pictures, finishing Tyson's athlete video, meeting Nathaniel for the first time and Nathaniel is a top guy. Obviously Tyson's all right. He, he, he's all right too. <laughs> was super nice uh, to finally meet Nathaniel as well. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a like. Do me a favor, turn on post notifications because one, it really helps the channel grow and two, you will never miss a future video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.